hey you guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks y'all read the title y'all read the title y'all know exactly why i came on looking like this girl i look a mess so in today's video we're gonna go ahead and revert my hair from straight to curly and i'm so so excited y'all my hair has been straight for three weeks yesterday i think it was and let me tell you i don't know how the girls get get straight hair to last over a month so um i straightened my hair initially the first time and i just used my it's a 10 leave-in and um the chi iron guard girl the next day my hair puffed up so i did redo i did re-straighten my hair and i just applied a little bit of um a mazani oil while I did it again with more heat protecting and everything yeah I did do that and bumped my ends a couple times but you know which I typically don't do but it's fine we're already here now it's over and done with and my hair really started to revert once it was Thanksgiving so Thanksgiving we all were at one of my family members house and it was just so hot in there my hair I wasn't there for more than 20 minutes and my hair just swole right up and at that point I was I was done so I've just been wearing my hair in lots of puffs and ponytails and claw clips and stuff um so this is what the hair is looking like as y'all can see my roots are so thick for my hair to be straight um and then i did end up getting a trim when i went to ohio as well so yeah this is what my hair is looking like so in order to get my hair back um as much as possible i feel like a lot of times your curls don't come all the way back during that first wash um usually it takes you know a couple weeks for your hair to really really do that snap back at least for me so what i'm doing today is i'm going to take you guys through my whole wash day routine so from wash to style okay and it has been two years since i've straightened my hair so i'm not exactly sure what it is that i want to do but um i concocted this little plan so that we just gonna leave it a try so I want to let you guys know this is going to be more of a vlog style wash day situation because um, it'll be all over the place. It's just a lot of steps, child, and I want to make sure that I take you guys along the way. And I am using products that I have all used before. Now for me personally, I like to just use products that my hair is familiar with first and then, you know, I'm able to dibble and dabble after that. But I like to use products that my hair already knows and loves. So before we get any more into this video, let me introduce myself for the people who are new around here. Hey, my name is Mink. I do a lot of natural hair, book, beauty, not like all types of stuff. I'm all over the place. If you're interested in any of those type of things, then definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Join our Kiki Crew fam. We will absolutely love, love, love to have you. And please let me know down below so that I can personally welcome you. To go ahead and kickstart this wash day, it's going to be a long one because when I tell y'all my scalp is so itchy like my hair is dry it needs some moisture it just it just needs a hard reset and that's what we're going to do today so what i'm going to go ahead and start with is a clay mask listen i can't tell you the last time i've done a clay mask i really cannot tell you the last time i've done a clay mask um but i think that this will be good to do i'm gonna just do it on dry hair I'm going to brush my hair out and just do it that way. I am going to get in the shower and show you guys. I have carpets throughout my apartment, so I'm just going to stand in the shower and apply it so that I make as little of a mess as possible. Um, I did do a video long, long, long ago of when I, I make clay masks. I know I have a short on TikTok, which if you're not following me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this clay mask. So I'll quickly show you guys what I'm going to put in it and then I'll meet y'all in the shower. So of course I just have a regular regular bowl. You want to use stuff without metal because the clay draws out any like metal type things. So I do have a little plastic spoon here. Of course I have my Indian clay. And I personally like to jazz up my clays just to give them a little razzle dazzle. So I also have my Brahmi and my Henna. And then for my liquids, I actually have this tea rinse that has been in my refrigerator since I was curly. And then I also have the apple cider vinegar. Now, if you don't have apple cider vinegar, it's okay. You can still use water. But personally, I feel like the apple cider vinegar um, just works better, in my opinion. Um, and make sure you get the one with the mother. So I'm going to go ahead and concoct my little thing. And then I will be back and I'll meet y'all in the shower and we'll carry this on in voiceover form. 
Okay y'all, so we have made it to the shower and this is what my hair looks like fully. And of course y'all know I gotta strike a pose, of course. So first step, I just did like a half my head type of detangle. Just because, you know, you can't really detangle with your clay. So this is what my clay looks like once I mixed it up. I try my best to get like a yogurt yogurty consistency. But you know, like with the clays, you're always gonna get something different every time. So for the first application, I took this little itty bitty section and I'm going to tell y'all right now, I didn't do that again. <laughs> I was taking um, maybe like eighths of my hair just to make sure that I was just getting as close as possible. So this is what my hair looks like after I put all the clay on my hair. And listen, I know that it looks like I don't have enough clay on my hair and I might, I might not. Y'all know I'm not a clay girl, but that's what I came up with. And this is what my hair looks like after letting it sit for 30 minutes. Of course, y'all know I had to get me rinsing it. Y'all love that. And then this is what my hair looks like. So at this point, my curls weren't all the way reverted, but chat, I was just happy to see that there was still some formation. So I'm using two shampoos. The first is the Baskin Bloom Gentle Herbal Cleanser. And then I'm going in for like a moisturizing shampoo with the Kinky Tresses Avocado Infusion Shampoo. And I just wanted to do something very clarifying and then something with some moisture to follow up. And of course, y'all know I'm going to deep condition. So first things first, we're going in with my clarifier, which is this Baskin Bloom Shampoo. And let me tell y'all, I have been so, so, so obsessed with this. Y'all know I was using a different shampoo um, a couple months ago, actually. And I just fell in love with this Baskin Bloom one. I felt like it was doing more. It has a lot of Ayurvedic herbs. You guys see I'm going in with my handheld scalp massager just to really work in these shampoos. Then I did follow up with the Kinky Tresses shampoo, which most of us know is very, very moisturizing. So it left me with the perfect base. So now I'm going to go ahead, hop out the shower so that we can go ahead and get into deep conditioning. Okay, you guys, so I am back fresh out the shower. Y'all saw I shampooed twice. Um, and let me tell y'all, I was just looking in the mirror to at my twist um, and the shine on my hair that is left. Hmm. Hmm. That's healthy hair, okay? Y'all, y'all know I got nothing but jokes, child. So now I'm gonna go ahead in with the Camille Rose Fresh Honey Nectar Deep Conditioning Treatment. So that is what this looks like. And that is about where I'm at on the container. And that is with two uses. It's either two or three uses, but this a little bit of this goes a very long way. Um, it is 12 ounces. Usually I get three or four uses out of an eight ounce, and baby, I'm on use two or three, or maybe three or four. Chap, I don't know. <laughs> but this I've gotten some bang for my buck. I really, 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 really like this mask so much so that I trust it post straight hair to do what it needs to do so i did do an initial like first impressions type review and like i said i've used it a couple times since and i just really like it like this is this is a good good mask i was talking to um one of my subbies in my dm i told y'all i just love to dm and talk with you guys like it's like a highlight of my day Oof, i did not miss that wet hair baby y'all know i do not like wet hair oh i should have grabbed my hair towel but yeah, anyway, um, I was talking to her and I just really do enjoy this mask. Like, I haven't found a lot of deep conditioners from Camille Rose that I'm just like over the moon about. I did try the Chepe collection. I need to revisit that because I really didn't like the shampoo. So I feel like the, the deep conditioner had a lot to come back from. So maybe I'll pull that out after I use this up. But um I also have tried the coconut water one and that's good. I have a couple other masks in my stash. I tried the green protein one from the Around the World collection. That was cool. Was it something I would repurchase? No, because I found Botanica, which was more bang for my buck. But let me tell you, Camille Rose hit the nail on the head with this one. This is really, 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 really good. Um, I feel like it moisturizes. I, I get that moisture protein balance. But there's this like intense softness that comes with it as well. So this is what my hair is looking like in this section um, and as you guys can see I'm not seeing any any visual damage or anything this one will probably pop back up a little more but as you guys can see hair is hair and this is what my scalp is looking like nice and clean and y'all see that shine I'm talking about 
So what I'm going to do is literally just apply this deep conditioner. Like I said, I do have a whole review on it. So if you want, um, you know, more details on it or anything, you can go ahead and check it out. But I'm just about to go turn on the YouTube girls and guys and tune in and catch up on some of my faves while I apply this deep conditioner. I'm going to leave this on for probably about an hour and a half. Like I said, this isn't like a very intense protein treatment. It gives very much moisture protein balance. I went in with just one pump. Like that's how good this spreads y'all. Like I may need more because my hair is not soaking wet anymore. But it has that like sticky consistency. So it just grips onto your strands. And I, I love this deep conditioner. Like love, love, love this deep conditioner. Like it's probably going to be on my favorites. It is. I don't know why I said probably. But um, it's, it's really good. I'm going to get another pump like two pumps of deep conditioner and this is just like fire but yeah like i said i'm going to go ahead and just you know apply the deep conditioner while i do what i need to do i'm going to leave it on for probably about an hour and a half just to give my hair you know a real treat um but oh you know what i'm gonna use the rest of my tea rinse mm, instead of water today um <laughs> chill okay i told y'all this was gonna be more of like a vlog style wash day because I'd be all over the place like I cut so much stuff out of the videos that you guys don't see because I just really be in here chit chatting to myself baby but that is what this section looks like I'm so so grateful look at that look at the hair look at the hair y'all and I am going to do a wash and go so once I go ahead and um, let the deep conditioner sit rinse it out all of that I will be back to apply my leave-in and I'm using a cream styler today so I will see you guys when I get back okay you guys so I am back from uh, leaving the deep conditioner on now let me tell y'all I did end up falling asleep <laughs> I did end up falling asleep it's been two three hours maybe um and I will say that the third the second ingredient on the deep conditioner is rice water and I can say that I definitely feel um, more of like the protein aspect after leaving it on longer. Y'all know I usually only leave it on for about an uh, um, hour or so. So rinsing it out, I definitely felt more of like that protein feel but it's fine. Y'all know my hair eats up protein anyway so my hair doesn't feel um, super terrible. It's something that could be fixed of course with just a super moisturizing leave-in which is what I plan to use anyway. But I think it's safe to say that all of my curls have returned. I told you guys I did go ahead and get a trim. And this is just what my naked hair looks like. And I'm here for it. So I already got my hair sectioned. Or chill. I already got my hair parted. And I'm just going to go ahead and um, section my hair. Okay y'all so my hair is all sectioned now. I have my hair towel on so that I don't get drenched. Because of course it is now cold outside. So I'm thinking that I'll let my hair air dry for an hour or so while I read or something. Put clothes away, child. I don't know. Um, and then I will air dry under the hooded dryer until my hair is complete. Because I don't need no more cool air. So as far as products that I plan to use for today's wash and go, I'm going to go ahead in with the African Pride Hydrate and Strengthen um, Leave-In. I really, really like this leave-in. Child, not really, really like. I like this leave-in. I think it's a good leave-in. So much so, y'all can see um, I've used quite a bit of the leave-in. I actually don't. I have less than half left. And this is the 16 ounce, 15 ounce container. And I realized the other day that I haven't reviewed um, any of the African Pride products that I have. I think I did. I know I did the pre-poo at some point, but um, if you guys are still interested in hearing my thoughts, please comment it down below because I I have some thoughts. And for these to be affordable products, I definitely have some thoughts. So I have this, I have the um, curling cream, I have like a cream gel situation, I believe. Um, so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on those, please comment it down below. But as for today, I'll be using it as my leave-in. It's a very moisturizing leave-in. And then I actually didn't want to go in with any gels or anything that would be like a heavy... Um, like way down situation since my hair has been straight i just want my hair to kind of just flourish and do what it is going to do so i decided to pull out a cream styler this is the as i am twist defining cream you guys saw me try this first as like a braid out cream because for me creams typically um don't do it for me there's not a whole lot of creams that have hold and that i'm able to use as like 
a actual styler uh-huh um and it for it to last that's always my problem is it lasting um and then i did try this as a wash and go with the original leave-in and i really really liked the way my hair came out my hair lasted absolutely all week and the reason I'm not using a match and leave it is because I don't have enough. I haven't bought a re replacement yet um, <laughs> because mine is gone. That's a product I fell in love with, okay? So I decided to just go ahead and try these two together. Um, why? I don't know, but that's what we're doing. So I'm just going to go ahead. I will record some of it, um, but you guys have seen me done do a ton of wash and goes. So I'm going to apply the leave-in all across my head, and then I will come back and apply the cream styler it's more like a, a like cream gel to me that's how it works on my hair so that's the wash and go combo of the day so when i finish that then i will come well i'll show you guys the wet results and then of course i'll come back with dry results. okay you guys so this is the consistency of the african pride leave-in it's definitely a nice creamy consistency it soaks right into my hair there is a little sitting on top but it sinks right in by the time i get around and of course, we're using the As I Am Twist Defining Cream as my cream styler today. So this is definitely a little bit tacky, but I really enjoy it for a wash and go styler. So of course, I'm going ahead and spraying my hair down with some water. Y'all know that's the way I move, okay? And then I grabbed some of the product. I needed more. I cut that part out of the video, but of course, I needed more. Um, and I just did like a shingling method on my hair. Here's a curl to show you. Can we get into it? I mean she looked good and these are the final results of my hair while it is wet I did let it air dry and then I believe I sat under the dryer for an hour or two and yeah y'all will see my final results in three two one hey you guys so I am back and these are my final results of the wash and go with the African pride leave-in and the as I am twist defining cream so as you guys can see, the hair is definitely very full, very, very, very voluminous, and very shrunken. Like, y'all see where my hair is at? My hair was literally at bra strap straight. So the curls are back, to say the least, okay? But as far as this wash and go, um, I'm not necessarily a fan. Like, it's definitely not the worst wash and go that I've had. Um, of course, this is without me stretching or anything. And honestly, I don't think it's terrible. It's it's just not my favorite though. Y'all know as of lately, I have been stretching my wash and goes. I just, I like the way they look better longer, especially because a lot of my hair is so different in lengths when curly. I have a lot of different textures. So sometimes my looser hair falls um, longer versus like the curls that are shrunk all the way up to my ear lips okay um so is it my worst wash and go absolutely not um and i wish i would have thought about it a little bit more so i have done a wash and go with this as i am twist the finding cream i used it with the matching leave-in from this line and i actually got a really really good leave-in um as you guys can see i have literally like nothing left in here maybe enough for a braid out or something um but i like this a lot better with the original leave-in that as i am leave-in has that like i keep saying like a primary type of consistency it's not a super um it's not the most moisturizing leave-in for me i think it's very moisturizing but it's not as decadent as something like the african pride leave-in this is filled with a ton of butters and oils and stuff and i definitely feel like that that played with the hold with this product and i didn't really think too much about that i just knew that i wanted a super moisturizing um wash and go because this isn't the most moisturizing product on its own paired with the leave-in i think it turned out well but i think that this was just a bit much and so it definitely affected the way that my hair um held and has turned out and i will say y'all i definitely did get some flakes I definitely did get some flakes but i won't put it all on this combo i will say i was definitely a little heavy handed with the um twist defining cream because like i said after applying that leave-in i felt like the twist defining cream just wasn't really locking in and holding on to my hair in the same way as it did with the as i am leave-in so around the perimeter hopefully you guys can see it on camera um but around the perimeter especially is where i have a lot of flakes i see them girl all over the place um as i shake my hair and everything but honestly i don't even feel like this wash and go is worth me stretching because i don't think that it's gonna last like i said um, my hair is super 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 voluminous like y'all see um the hair is just it's, it's very big 
today is day two here i did my hair on saturday today is monday and a lot of my hair is just frizzy especially down in the coarser sections even in some of my looser sections i feel like my hair just isn't it's just not whole and it's just not the best combo which is fine i'm not necessarily mad at it i just knew that after coming from my hair being straight i really wanted my hair to be spoiled with moisture and um just really to get it back to its its, its best state and as far as i'm concerned most of my hair has returned um perfectly there's a few little straggler strands like this one that just haven't bounced back all the way now honestly am i bothered by it no because most of my hair has come back so if i eventually have to cut that little piece off by all means um but also don't think too much into it after you have had your hair straight for me i straightened my hair a couple times during that three weeks so i can't expect it to just come back after one wash day now after a month it's not back then i will be cutting it but honestly i'm not mad at it as you guys can see my hair is literally all the way back so girl we're fine now i hope that you guys did enjoy this video it was definitely a long lengthy process child um between from getting in the shower getting out the shower child filming every like girl it has been a labor of love for sure so definitely make sure you go ahead and give this video a like if you have enjoyed it i would greatly greatly appreciate it and just know that i love you guys so so much of course if you're new around here go ahead hit that subscribe button join our King crew fam and leave me a comment down below so that i could personally welcome you but i will see you guys in my next video bye